I'm sure you're familiar with the delegation of control wizard. Uh, let's say I have an administrative assistant and I want to give that person the ability to set or reset or unlock accounts on this uh, sales OU. So we'll just right click over here, we'll select a delegate control, provide that person's name to the friendly little dialog, and then decide what we want them to do. And we'll just say reset user passwords and force password change at next logon. Uh, there's obviously other things you can pick here, and we can get custom, but you know, custom gets even more complicated. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a sec. So once that's done, uh, let's look at the result of that. Let's take a look at the properties on this organizational unit. Oh, and of course, we've got to remember to turn on all of our advanced viewing stuff so that we can actually see the security. That's over on the view menu. We'll turn on advanced features. Now we can actually go see what we did. On the security tab, we'll look for that particular person. And this is kind of the telltale that delegation has occurred. Now here's the problem. Let's say you walk into an environment where a bunch of people have been delegating stuff for a few years and you're trying to figure out what's going on. All you can really do is go through every single OU, sub OU, everything else, and then look to see if individual users or perhaps some user groups have been given special permissions. Then you can click advanced then you can get down and see what that person actually does. And again, another telltale is that these delegated permissions usually won't be inherited unless you happen to stumble across them on a lower level object, like a sub OU. Actually getting these delegated permissions off of here is a little bit trickier. Changing them is definitely harder because there's no re-delegation or undelegation wizard. You, you have to dive into this dialog box and do it manually. And this is one of the things that can make Active Directory so ugly. You know, if you have an Active Directory that's been around since the early days, 2000, 2001, and people really bought off on the whole delegation of control idea, but they didn't really plan it out so that they had a user group set up for well, pretty much every delegated task you might want to do, then you've got all these individual permissions built in and around, and all you can start doing is right-click Properties, Security, and start looking for those. Now you see this one, I'm just seeing the normal built-in groups. So there's doesn't look like there's any special delegated permissions here. Although, just because this group is on here by default doesn't mean that the permissions currently on here are the default ones. I could have delegated additional permissions to this. They, they get really difficult to find, to keep track of. It, it's a pain for auditing. It's, it's certainly difficult for reporting as well. It's the nightmare on Delegation Street.